Okay guys, this is Ryan. I'm outside the Blair house sitting on the front porch taking a look at it's Bel Air, Ohio. There's, there's a, a bridge off in the distance. Some mountains and whatnot. I think there's a river across uh, across the highway as well. I'm gonna walk down here, give you guys a look at the house from the outside, give you guys a little bit more of a, uh, a tour of the house. Some apartments next door. Ugh. There, there it is, the Bel Air house, which, according to legend, it's got a portal to hell. Portal to hell. That's not, that's not too easy to say. I'm on a portal to hell. And if my information is correct, somebody was shot and killed in this house. Nobody lives there anymore, as you can tell. You got a bunch of stuff growing in front of the front door. Guarantee there's probably some uh, activity in that house for sure. Nobody wants to live there. But we're gonna concentrate on this house right here. Give you a more of an in-depth tour of the house. So walking, walking up the front steps here. There we go. Got the AC running, which is awesome for staying cool, but not so great for easy peace. Some cool decorations up here. Nice wicker furniture here. Cigarette light, uh, cigarette ashtray. Maybe a maybe a flashlight. I don't know what this thing is. I'm assuming there used to be rails here all along here. You can see right there. There used to be uh, a railing system around the outside of here, but that's all gone. Some people walking down the street there. Hello, people! Car drives by. Kids playing, frolicking on the sidewalk. Up there's a lady. She's saying hi. Maybe she wanted me to fill her, so I should probably stop. Looks like there, there could be um, a leftover playground, fort, treehouse thing down there, and the uh, other tree there. This would be a great front yard to go sledding down. You know, I have to come back here where it snows, so just so I can go sledding. All right, let's go inside. There used to be a screen on this door, but the screen's all gone. Alright, the old doorbell. I don't think it works anymore. So now we're inside the Bel Air house. And apparently Crab Apple Moon was here. What is Crab Apple Moon? Your guess is as good as mine. I think there might be candles. I'll, sh I'll show you why in a second. I don't know if that's I don't know why. I don't know if that's all they make, but I do know they make candles. Now, just I'll let you guys take a look at the craftsmanship that went into building this house. You know what's neat? You think about stuff like you know building a house and stuff like that. Every piece of um, railing and floorboards and bricks had a story attached to it. Someone laid this wood down to make this floor. Someone who has a story all their own laid this wood down. And I know laying wood is a dirty term, but I couldn't think of anything else to say. But this floor has a story. There's a, uh, a wood 
door, door stop here, which I think is pretty cool. I, I've never seen anything like that before. Very ingenious. This is um, right here. This is kind of our home base for Carissa and I. This is her stuff over here. Kind of just kind of threw stuff around. And I got my salt and vinegar chips here. You know. Here, yeah, see? Crab apple moon. So I guess they make uh, candles. You want some cra some crab apple candles? Come to Ohio, the home of crab apple moon. Yeah, yep. Yeah, some more shit going around. Just kind of laying around here. I was I was uh, going over some EVPs I caught in the basement. So you wrote a bunch of stuff down here, a bunch of. Uh, EDPs I call it. The problem is the AC downstairs is so loud, 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 yeah. It's so loud that I'm having a hard time hearing uh, EDPs, especially if they're like really soft. There's my H4, got my earbuds plugged in going my old digital recorder. They're selling a, a DVD here. 1699 Belmont Street. So you can you can uh, experience Kristen Lee's story firsthand as to what happened to her when she was living here. A pretty harrowing experience right here. Some candles around in case you want to have a seance or something. I guess this is where you pay money. To buy, uh, I guess, tickets to investigate. You buy barbecue chips if you want. Candles, see what a candle smells like. Let's see. It smells like pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie! I'll show you what you, what you, what you can buy here at 1699 Belmont Street or more commonly known as the Bel Air House. This is the gift shop. I should have brought my freaking awesome paranormal show business cards here, but as a dumbass, I left them at home. Or even the Vibe Radio, Radio Network business cards. But again, dumbass left them at home. Looks like this is holy water, I think. Certain trinkets. I came to me. Actually, I think that's that belongs to one of us. Uh. Some more trinkets here. A book about the house. Eliza in the house that Jack built. These are mine. My quartz, my quartz uh, era thing. My handy dandy tweet hearts. Always good for investigation. Amethyst. Okay, this is uh, oil. It's uh, the scent of, where is it? I can't read it. Let's see here. And I think it's Archangel Gabriel scent, or the scent he likes, according to the person I bought it from. How they know it's the scent he likes, I don't know. But apparently that's what they figure out. Now we're in the kitchen of 1699 Belmont Street. Stove. Stove works. Some bread for sandwiches. We're going to have Olive Garden for dinner tonight. I'm excited about that. Um, brought some knickknacks, patty wax. Some goober, smuckers, goober, strawberry, peanut butter. It's always fun to save money and buy peanut butter and strawberry jelly at this, in the same jar. Some famous Amos cookies. Donut sticks, very good. I had some fresh water because the water here is not very good. I don't think it's drinkable. And some chips. Uh, these are Walmart brand chips and these are Doritos brand chips right here. Take you to the basement. Mm. Ow. 
I'm not sure, but I think the portal to hell would probably be down here. There was an exorcism or a cleansing. So it may not be as bad as it used to be when she, uh, Kristen was living here. I don't know. Um, haven't had anything super bad happen to me or anything bad at all happen to me actually, to be honest with you. We've heard noises, and like I said, I've got EVPs down here. Um, I did an EVP session earlier today, this morning, and I got a few EVPs, so this place definitely has some activity, and I'm hoping that it'll ramp up tonight. It's amazing how life can be, can change and go down different paths and stuff. Because the reason I say that is because when I was a kid, I was scared to death of spirits, ghosts, the unknown, the dark shit. I would sleep with my door open so the hall light would come in because I was that freaking scared. I never watched horror movies. I still don't watch horror movies. I don't. I hate those things, but I just wasn't. I'm the last person that I would ever suspect would be inside a haunted house by myself, especially one as haunted as what this one's supposed to be. You know, it's just amazing how how you know you, you change through the years. Walking up the steps now. Ugh. Of course, to be fair, I haven't really had anything really scary happen to me on investigations. Now, there's always that one time where it's like, you know, those holy shit moments where it's like, I'll never go investigating again. But that hasn't happened to me yet, so I'm hoping it doesn't happen now. Happy Halloween! I wish. I don't think I should, I don't think I should swing from that though. I might break it. They might get mad at me for breaking her. Chandelier Hill. Let's see. I wonder who this lady is. Does anybody know who this who this lovely lady is? I don't know. Ew. Mike McAllister. Good old Mike. Big Mike McAllister. Oh, there it is. Check out Witch Talk Radio. High Priestess Kristen Lee. Ohio Valley Witch Talk Radio. We did hear some heavy footsteps down here last night. Nancy Light Switch. Yes, please. These fell off the entrance here last night. That was our fault. Nothing supernatural about that. You see, I love you so much. More thanks. Walking up the stairs. is a bedroom. I don't have any more information than that. It is a bedroom. See no evil. Speak no evil. But where is here no evil? I do not know. It looks like someone kicked that door in. Somebody was mad.
Good voices downstairs. Thought I did. These are the doll Chris dolls Chris I have, have set up here. You get too close and they start laughing. Freaky. Look at that face. Look at that face. Ooh. Spooky. Tripod for doing live sessions. Here's a laptop. This is really cool. I've already got a fireplace in my room. That would be fun to have. There's some stuff in there. You really can't see it, but there's some ashes in there. Some crystals up here, too. A candle. A chewed up, uh, it looks like a Nerf soccer ball. Some more crystals. This is, I guess, I think they used these to, you poured water in it back in the um, olden days and you wash yourself, maybe wash your face with the water that's inside the, the bowl here. Going across, nice love seat. I'm not sure if this is original to the house or not. Looks old though. This AC is working like a champ. Woo, feels good. An old printer. A Canon. Image class. MF6590. So you know that's good. Bunch of pictures. Let's go up to the attic. The spooky attic. Walk up the stairs here. Oh, a little bit hot up here. A little bit hot. Many people I'm doing some EVP sessions up here. Sit on this chair. An EVP session. We put um, it's too hot to do one of those up here right now. I think I only do EVP sessions up here in the winter time because it's way too hot. We put a baby monitor here just in case there's activity or someone talking. You can hear it downstairs. What's that? Let me see here. Is even this thing even even on? Should be. Maybe the batteries ran out. It's weird because I heard heard stuff on the baby baby mon baby mon I can't even talk today. The baby monitor downstairs. This is part of it. I don't know what this part's for. To be honest, someone's up here smoking cigarettes. Some, the ceiling's missing. Some dressers, window screens, blinds. Yeah. Some stuff. Let's see what's in the closet. Ooh, shit. Dark. Hot, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close that up. Alright. Okay. Back down to the AC. Okay. Ooh, I broke into a sweat, yo. Here's the vent. Used to cool or heat the house. Here's another bedroom here. Five shots, ready to party. Last, last night we slept in the room without a fan, so that was dumb. This time, I'm not making that mistake again. The skull has got shooters coming out of its head. Hello. Oh, 
you my pretty? <laughs> they look very happy. Very happy skeletons. There's a key. I don't know where the key goes to, but there's a key. And here's uh, the room, the sauna that we slept in. Hot. It's kind of hoping I can see the rocking chair move by itself, but that hasn't happened yet. So that was the tour of the Bel Air House in Bel Air, Ohio, or 1699 Belmont Street. There used to be a lock on here, it looks like. A latch, but it moved down to here. So, yeah. And there's a rosary beads on top of the door for protection. What I heard about this room is that uh, Bishop James Long stays in here and they do not like Bishop Long. And someone brought their pit bull to an investigation and it got thrown against the wall. So. That's an interesting story. All in all, this house is a pretty 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 neat place I'm glad I'm very glad I was able to come out here and investigate here I'll be doing more live sessions later on throughout the evening here um, here's the bathroom too exciting Like I said, I'll be doing more uh, EVP, uh, EVP sessions and live broadcasts throughout the evening. Tonight, we're going to be we're investigating all night. And tune in tomorrow because we are leaving here, getting in the car, and driving to Buffalo or upstate New York area to investigate the Hinsdale house. So... Hopefully I'll be able to get some cool stuff for you guys tomorrow night too. So, all right, I'm gonna let you guys go. And then I'm gonna take some go, just kind of relax for a little bit and go over some more evidence. Have a good afternoon.